Home becoming a trend for many Americans, especially in Michigan. So a study conducted from Full Stack Academy looked at the American census and says 12% of Michigan residents work from home. That is the 27th highest in the U.S. and growing. The study says Sterling Heights is the Michigan city with the most remote workers. Detroit is the Michigan city with the fewest. The top three work from home jobs, travel agents, web developers, writers, and travel agents. It makes sense. Well, you've probably seen the headlines recently about how bad this year's flu season is, or perhaps you've experienced at your home or maybe your work. So many people are out sick right now. <laughs> Needless to that. say, the flu has been a very serious problem for weeks now. It really has. The question is why? I mean, it seems like every winter we get it, but it just this year really hit yeah, hard. Yeah, and this, it's really a bad flu. Yeah, this year has been a little bit different. There's actually a couple of reasons why, and one of them I actually warned about back in December. In Michigan, the 2024 flu season has actually had the lowest vaccination rate in years, which basically means fewer people have freshly updated protection against the flu. Now, I should point out, this year's flu vaccine does have coverage against both H1N1 and H3N2, which are, in fact, the two influenza strains in wide circulation right now. The issue is, even within those two broad types, there can actually be some mutations that allow them to either spread more easily or be more dangerous, so there is probably a component of one of those things in play as well here. It's the perfect storm for what we're experiencing, right? Yeah. All right, we've been talking about soaring egg prices because of bird flu. Is there any relationship there to the flu situation in humans, or is it completely separate? So that's an important point because I think a lot of people may have some confusion. The bird flu that's been causing all the trouble in farm settings is H5N1. Now, I know all these H's and N's are really confusing, but suffice it to say, it's different than the human strains that we are concerned about. In fact, H5N1 has infected some people, very few though, and so far they all appear to have been infected by animals with bird flu and the number of human cases overall has been very limited. Now that's not to say that if H5N1 mutated that it couldn't become a major problem, but so far that is actually just not the case. So we're mid-February, is it, does it make sense to get vaccinated or have we kind of missed our window? Well, so given how bad this year's flu season has been so far, there's a couple of things baked in. I would say it is conceivable that right now the flu vaccine is worth getting. But the other thing that I'd point out is that this flu season can easily run through April into May. Whoa. And in many years, yeah, it has more than one peak. So even though we might actually hope that we might have been past the biggest peak this year, there might actually still be a delayed wave so it is worth getting vaccinated given how severe it is and the fact there may be a delayed wave this year. I did not know you'd get the flu in May. You can. Thanks yes. For letting us it's kind of like the winters in Michigan. They happen in May, too. All the way through April, right? You're, You're learning fast. Learning exactly. exactly. All right. Thank you, Dr. Sure. Bittor. Appreciate it. Okay.